nice to meet you. My name is Valma. You probably know me from the show Scooby-Doo. Me, Scooby-Doo and the gang are out looking, searching and hoping that we will find a creepy, creepy, creepy ghost tonight. So, haven't you seen any ghosts walking around the street? No. Well, what are you doing out here? At this time of the night, it's not safe for anyone to be out here at this time. So tell me, what are you doing outside? Oh, so you couldn't fall asleep and you wanted someone to tell you a story so that we could help you fall asleep. Okay, well, let me tell you. Is that a dragon again? Well, I will tell you a story of Takani, the dragon slaying South African princess. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful, smart princess, and her name was Takani. T H A K A N A Takani. Was the daughter of the great chief of Basoto people of South Africa. Takana had two siblings. She had one, two brothers. Her brothers were very lazy and vain. Unfortunately, Takani's parents passed away and now the responsibility of taking care of the lazy and vain brothers became Takani's. Now Takani was responsible was responsible of taking care of her brothers. She decided to take 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 her brothers to warrior school because they couldn't do anything. The warrior school was up in the mountain, up in the mountain, they had to walk and climb, climb, climb the mountain to get there. They got there and the brothers started learning by the miracle, by miracle. They then Takane decided to make, you know, outfits for them to wear on their graduation. She had prepared shoes, blankets, hats, you know, and outfits for them to wear on their graduation. And then she took the clothes up. When she got there, the brothers were like, No, we are not going to wear 
any of this. We are the sons of the great chief of Basoto people. We can't just look basic. We can't look average. We need to have ifavavum. You know what I mean? And Takana was like, what do you guys want from me? Because I spent day and night preparing these clothes for you. The least you can do is be grateful. But the brothers were like, we are not wearing any of this stuff. Not one bit. Takana was like, okay, tell me, what do you want to wear? What do you want to wear? And then the brothers said, we want to wear an armor made from the Nana Bolele dragon. Takane gasped and said, ah, how will I get that? The brother said, well, if our father was still here, He would have found a way. So make it, make it happen. Um, Takani then gathered some of the strongest and bravest men from the Basoto village. And they went looking. Boy. 
poison plant. When you can be able to do that, you need to cross the river. They didn't understand what they did not understand what this meant. So they kept walking and walking and walking and then they kept drawing more meat. Throwing, throwing, throwing and throwing and throwing more meat. Well, they saw more amphibian and the water got deeper. The amphibian told them that they should just keep walking up until they reached this open area which is the biggest part of the river and the deepest, deepest, deepest part of the river. This time around they decided to throw an entire ox inside the water. They did 
not find them because they were hiding the dragons were so tired because they were hunting all day they decided to take a nap so that they can wake up again fresh and then hunt for these humans they could smell they fell asleep as the dragons were sleeping 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 Takane was looking Mountain was 
so tall such that it was taller than Mount Kilimanjaro 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 The dragons started climbing up the mountain climbing up 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 shoop. the mountain from 
from the Nana Bulele's skin and they were busy flexing they were flexing in front of the other graduates they were flexing but like yeah yeah our armor glows in the dark yeah they were flexing and in order to say thank you to their sister they gave her a hundred cattle and they all lived happily ever after the end okay did you enjoy listening to the story wait a minute not show you my hair clip this is Takane's hair clip it used to belong to Takane it actually glows in the dark can you guess what it's made from yeah it's actually made from the Nanabulele dragon Takane gave it to me as a gift and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's a hair clip. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, I was meaning to ask, why are you wearing a mask? Why do you have a mask on? Are you the ghost we've been looking for? all night okay if you're not if you are not the ghost let me take off your mask okay <laughs>